everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Q&A video. I went and asked on my Instagram at WeLoveHollyXO uh, any questions you guys wanted to ask me and I got such a big response. Like, oh my God, thank you so much everybody who responded. Uh, quite simply, I'm gonna start this by saying that I had quite a few people just saying hi and you know, just saying how am I doing and everything like that. So hiya, I'm Holly. If you guys are new here to my channel, I uh, do lifestyle and home content videos uh, I'm very much I love doing my travel videos when we get to travel but obviously during this horrible COVID-19 time I can't travel I've already lost one holiday to Disneyland Paris and I'm potentially looking at losing another holiday at the end of June so sad times really but what can you do it's a pandemic oh well but I am absolutely fine I am 25 years old and I am expecting my first baby so I'm doing infertility videos and everything all over my channel for a little while. I'm always very open and honest with my journey and my lifestyle because I would like for it to be able to help somebody who is also going through the same thing I am and hasn't got access to the help that I am so lucky to have got. So that is me, that is who I am. I'm as real as it can be. I'm not a YouTuber that's got you know loads of followers. I've got a nice small network of followers that I absolutely love and save on my Instagram. My Instagram is predominantly very much foodie lifestyle content because i am follow slimming world so make sure you do follow me at with love holly xo so you can keep up to date with any new videos or anything that's coming up especially when it comes to q and a's so thank you everyone who did say hi hi back <laughs> nice to see you all nice to see you're all here so thank you so much for tuning in and of course paying an interest in my q and a so it's nice to have you guys here right let's start so the first question I got asked uh, was, what was your favourite subject in school? Uh, my favourite subject in school was actually textiles. So I started studying textiles for my GCSEs. Uh, we always studied art anyway, um, and I do like the art side of it. I did do art as part of my A-levels. But for some reason, textiles for me was just so therapeutic. Like You played with materials, you got to make like dresses and outfits. Uh, it was just, I don't know, you could kind of just express yourself through materials. And I really, really enjoyed that. I find I was much more creative than I was academic. So I did much better in like sports, um, art and design and things like that than I did doing like English, maths and science. I just wasn't very tuned into that. Like I didn't do badly at school. Like I can't say that I wasn't any good at it, but I wouldn't say it was a favorite subject of mine. So yeah, I'd have to say it's probably the artsy kind of subjects I really enjoyed doing. I especially enjoyed when it got to my um, like A levels did photography. Absolutely love photography. That was my favourite thing on earth to do. So yeah I guess it's it's very much art based. I wasn't very much an arty person. Um, your content is so cool you should check out my page sometime. Yeah no worries I will check out anyone's page who links it over to me. Um, how are you doing and I hope you are doing well and are staying safe. Thank you so much. I think that's Daisy. Thank you so much for asking me that. Um, yeah, I'm doing really well. Um, lockdown has obviously been a bit challenging. It's a little bit scary. Uh, you don't really know what's going to happen or what's going on or anything like that. Um, but yes, I'm staying safe. I have been in isolation since 20th of March. I've only been going out for minor walks for about 15 minutes every couple of days. Uh, Adam does all our food shopping unless we can get a food delivery slot. So yeah, I am, I'm doing really well, I'm staying safe. I'm just hoping, based on the little broadcast that Boris Johnson did yesterday, if any of you are watching and he said that we're over the peak. So I'm hoping that means I can see my mum and dad soon because I'm desperate to see my family and my friends, like so much. FaceTime just isn't cutting it for me anymore, guys. <laughs> um, hope you're staying safe, love your creativity. Art, oh, thank you so much, that means so much to me. Don't realise... Um, of course, anybody who asked me to check out their page, I will. Oh, I've had Chow, so even from like abroad, thank you so much, Chow. Hello, welcome to my vid welcome to my channel. Um, again, I get loads of questions about uh, would you mind checking out my page? Of course, I will. Just let me know, DM me, and I will come back to you. Do you like fitness inspo? Um, yes, I do like fitness. I wouldn't say for me, it's like specifically within my range of what I'm good at. I'm not very much somebody who likes to exercise, if that's, that's really bad. I will say though that a fitness regime that I absolutely love is uh, Karis 
and James Will Karras' new New You Guide. You can buy it as a like document folder thing on your phone and it comes with mental health and home fitness. You can buy the whole package which is home fitness, gym and mental health and it's £19 or you can buy the home and mental health together I think for £15. I really really love it and her workout guides are so good. You can do HIIT workouts, uh, just take it at your own speed and then the mental health side of it is like a workbook so it gives you something to do and keeps your brain going so I would definitely advise that um, if you're not somebody who follows Karis definitely go and follow it's Busy Bee Karis she's one of my favourite YouTubers and bloggers and everything so go follow her she's amazing <laughs> again lots of hi chows lots of highs <laughs> uh, you have fantastic content keep up the great work thank you so much it means a lot to me really really cute I just absolutely, I'm so happy with some of the responses on here. I've got like, I love your feed, I love what you're doing, I love your page. And honestly, this is the first q and I've put up where I've had loads of people who have obviously been following my journey, following my uh, Instagram page where I've been working on it. And it's so nice to get some sort of positive response from that. It, it, it's just such a nice feeling. So you guys don't realise how much it means to me when you actually get involved in my Q&As. So nothing goes unnoticed. Anybody who asks me to have a look at collaborations and anything, I take a look at everything that I can. And so, yeah, make sure if you just keep tuned because you, you, I love you guys. Like, I actually love everybody who watches there. Um, I've got, do you like travel photos? Uh, absolutely love travel photos. So, <laughs> uh, obviously, because I'm not getting to travel as much as I would have liked this year, this year was I was intending to be my last proper year before we did IVF to like go and get all the travelling that I wanted to do. Obviously now the new baby has decided to come naturally that um, a lot of my travel plans that I did have have had to be like either postponed or cancelled and due to the COVID-19 obviously me and my best friend had a trip planned for Disneyland Paris which was a complete surprise for her birthday I'd booked and I'm absolutely glad that we've had to cancel it but there's no way we could have gone later on in the year because the baby's due later on in the year. Um, and it's going to be absolutely chaotic at the park because I can imagine for the next year or year or so so that's sad uh, but yes I do love travel photos and I wish I could post more so make me jealous I guess by sending me your Instagram pages and I will definitely have a look at everything would you rather ride a bike ride a horse or drive a car this is a good question um I love my car. I do love driving my car, to be fair. I can't really ride a bike. <laughs> I don't like riding bikes. Uh, horses, I can ride a horse. I did learn to ride a horse as a kid. Oh, I don't know. I guess it depends on the situation of where I am. If I was on the beach, then I'd think, oh yeah, I'd like to ride a horse. But I guess, no, I'd probably drive my car. I love my car so much. It's like my world. <laughs> Will you be planning a family trip to Orlando, Florida in the future? Of course. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm already saying to Adam, like I was on, um, when we, we course, he cancelled a trip that we had planned. I was like, oh, should we look at like the deals for Florida? And Florida have got some really good deals, especially Virgin. And I've seen a few really good deals where I'm like, oh, look, we could take the baby and it'd be amazing. But we both already said, based from when we went to Disneyland, well, Disney World, we wouldn't take a baby there at all only because they just wouldn't enjoy it they just wouldn't have the memories like that we have so i would wait until they're a bit older till they're about six or seven when they get to that age they kind of understand it a little bit more um but yes 100 percent. i am gonna try and get a trip family trip to orlando done when the baby's a little bit bigger but yes 100 percent. it's it's on my list um hi 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 everybody hi <laughs> Um, if money was no object, what would you do all day? Okay. What I do, Holly? What I do? Oh, this is really tough. I guess if money was no object whatsoever, then I'd probably like to do either. I'd like to be a wedding planner. I've always said from like day one I'm very much an organized person I like to plan things and organize if you know from my own wedding how organized I was in my wedding um I just I just like planning events so oh dear sorry <laughs> I just really like planning events so 
For me, it was no object if I could just do it all the time and I'd love to be an event planner, a wedding organiser, you know, something along those lines. Or, of course, I'd like to be able to, like, raise my baby without having to go back to work. That would be really nice. But that's just not going to be an option for me, unfortunately. Um, I know people would say, like, oh, you'd go shopping and you do this and that. But I think there's only so much shopping you could actually do. I'd like to be able to go and help people. Like, I'd like to be able to... I either go abroad or do so you know go abroad and maybe help animals that would be something really nice really re rewarding to be fair i'd probably open up my own dog shelter because i'm obsessed with dogs like rescue animals oh my god yeah i'd absolutely love to do that a farm i'd love to have a farm oh there's like so much there's so much i could do <laughs> like literally so much in my head but yeah i guess there are things who is your favorite parent thanks mum <laughs> I'm not answering that. I love you both the same. Stop being mean. Wow, you've got cool stories. Thank you. If you could give your little bee one advice for the future, what would it be? Okay, um, so I would definitely say go and do what makes you happy. So there's no point being in this world or doing anything that you're not happy with. If you're not happy with a job, you shouldn't be doing it. You know, if you're not happy with the people around you then you shouldn't have them around you you should fill yourself with people that are positive and give you all the love and energy that you want and you know if if my child decides that they want to go off to university or they want to go and travel then i'm not going to stop them you know i think they should he he she they should 100 percent feel like they they can do whatever they want to do um but definitely always be true to yourself as well. Like, never lie to yourself. If if something isn't making you happy, then it's just not for you. Like, people, situations, jobs, homes. If you're uni, if you're doing something, you know, if you don't enjoy it, don't, don't do it. You shouldn't be doing it. Because then you're just never going to have that fulfilment of wanting to do something or be happy. So, yeah. I guess that's the one thing me and Adam would probably like to teach our child is to always do what makes you happy. Be you smell too <laughs> you are so pretty oh thank you <laughs> that's really sweet i do love these kind of comments they make me make me laugh um how much do you love me loads i love everybody so much you're all amazing thank you so much for watching what was your parents reaction when you told them you were pregnant uh my, my mom i remember this specifically how i told my mom i'd found out she was at work i rung her and i, I never ring, ring her when she's at work so she knows there's something wrong and she was like, what's the matter? <laughs> and I was like, I've got to tell you something. She was like, what? And I said, I'm pregnant. And <laughs> just straight away, I'm pregnant. And she was like, no. What? Oh, my God. She, like, ran out of My dad was waiting to pick her up. She said to her manager, I need to go and see my husband quickly. Said, okay, yeah, no worries. Ran out of says, you're going to be a granddad? <laughs> they cried. They were, like, so excited. Uh, they then came straight over here after work and was like, both all cried giving me a big hug and you know because they knew how much we wanted this and we were just so excited all of us together and yeah they were just they were absolutely over me my parents were so so happy and so were adam's family so we've just been had such an amazing response already everyone has been so excited for us uh what are you looking most forward to with baby bamba when they are here oh i'm looking forward to just silly things like you know sleepy cuddles and like going swimming with them and and doing things as a family and seeing adam bond with this baby and like not just me like you know seeing my family and everything just like love this baby um i'm looking i'm, I'm just looking forward to all the all the memories that we're going to make together as a family it's just so exciting it's just a new part of a, it's a different part of a chapter of our life that we've both really wanted for such a long time and it's just he's so surreal at the minute because until i guess that baby's here we're just not gonna we're just not gonna know how we're gonna feel so yeah i'm just looking forward to all the love that this baby's gonna get um three positives to come out of lockdown this is probably the last question i'm going to answer today so i would have to say the three positives i've come out with is i'm grateful for the life i have my job my family uh, the freedom and luxury that we have in the UK to be able to go and do what we like, our NHS, everything. I am just so unbelievably grateful for everything we've we've had and what we, we've accomplished as a, as a country. So that's one of the big things. Uh, second thing, I don't need to go and spend money to have a good time. <laughs> 
I don't need to go out every weekend uh, and spend loads of money on things I don't need. I've actually got everything I need right in front of me. Um, and number three is I'm, I would say is that I've proven to myself that I am capable. <laughs> I am capable of finding happiness wherever I am, whatever I'm doing. I'm, you know, my husband has been an absolute godsend to me. He, you know, we've bonded so much over this time of being together, and we've just been in this little bubble, both of us. So yeah, I guess that's a big positive is the love I've come out come out of this with for my husband. He's been amazing. As much as he does annoy me, it has been real fun to have this little bubble of just me, him, and the idea of this baby. So yeah. I would say they are my free positives so thank you again so so much if you are one of the people who commented sent me questions just even came on and said hi you do not realize how much that means to me and i hope if you want to get involved in my next q a i may aim to do one with adam at some point so get some questions together and make sure you follow me at with love holly xo on instagram so that me and adam can do a little q a together perhaps maybe about the baby about how he's feeling about the baby so you'll get to hear from him what he's feeling but thank you so much for tuning in i love you all so much the support is incredible so hope you all keep looking after yourself during this time and i hope we can all see our loved ones very soon so thank you so much hit subscribe and i'll see you all later <laughs>